Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to section 11.7, Mixed Expressions and Complex Fractions, part two. Now, today we'll be dealing with some complex fractions. A complex fraction is a fraction that has one or more fractions in the numerator or the denominator, so the top or bottom of the fraction. If you take a look at one, this is a complex fraction right here. We have a fraction on top, which is the numerator, fraction on bottom, which is the denominator. Now it looks tricky, but what does this fraction bar mean right here? That fraction bar tells us that we have to divide. So I am going to take two thirds because it's on top, and now I'm gonna divide it by, divide it by what is on the bottom. This guy is on the bottom, so it's going to be 5 eighths. Now when we divide, what's that tell us? When we divide, that turns into multiplication, and then when we multiply, we have to flip the second guy, and so now that turns into 8 fifths, and now we bring down the first guy, which is 2 thirds. There's nothing that we can cancel out, so we just multiply across to get 16 over 15. If you want to, that simplifies into 1 and 1 15. But once you get past the crossing out steps, there's really not much to simplify today. But that is our simplified expression. With 2, what does this fraction bar mean, ladies and gentlemen? This fraction bar means divide. So we're going to divide by a b to the fourth over c to the fourth. Notice how I just brought this fraction, moved it up. I am still dividing because we were dividing over that bigger fraction bar. What does division mean? Well, I'm going to go over here, and it's going to be a to the fifth b over c squared. Division means with fractions to flip and multiply. So it's going to be c to the fourth over a, B to the fourth. Now we've done something like this for a while now, so let's go ahead and start canceling things out. We can cancel out kitty corner. Well, we have one A that we can cancel out. So this is going to be a four up here. We can cancel out another B. So we have a three down there. We can cancel out some of our C's with a two here. That's all gone. Anything top and bottom left? No, so now we multiply across. This is an a to the fourth, so now we have a to the fourth, and this b is gone, times c squared, over, this c squared's gone, we have a b to the third right here, so we have our simplified expression right there. Again with three, what does this division bar mean? It means divide, so we're gonna bring the bottom fraction up, so it's 16 p, m squared over t to the fourth h. So now I'm going to rewrite it again. We have negative 24 m cubed t to the fifth over p squared h. And then I'm taking this times now the opposite, the reciprocal of this. So it's t to the fourth h over 16 p m squared. Now what do we come up with? Let's cancel out first. We have a negative 24 that I can take an eight out of, so I left with a two down here, a negative three right there. We have an m to the third here that I'm gonna cancel out with this m squared, so I have an m left there. I have nothing left from that m squared. t to the fifth I can't do anything with. How about this way? I have a t to the fourth that I can't cancel out this h I can cancel out. Now we are done with everything, both kitty corner and top and bottom. So now, what's my final answer? We have this negative three and this m, so it's going to be negative three m. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot forget about what we did nothing with. So we have a t to the fifth and a t to the fourth to get a t to the ninth, and that's all over. We have a p squared, and a p, so that's gonna be a p cubed. And what else do we have left? We have this two left. So our final answer 
is negative 3mt to the ninth, all over 2p cubed. With 4, it looks a little bit trickier, but again, what does this fraction bar mean? It means division. What are we dividing by? We are dividing by c squared minus 9 over c plus 2. We're still dividing by this, so let's go ahead and flip and multiply. So I'm going to bring this guy down right here. We have a c squared minus 4c plus 3. That's going to go over a c squared plus 9c plus 14. We flip and multiply. So we're multiplying now by the reciprocal of this. So it's c plus 2 over c squared minus 9. Now what can we cancel out, ladies and gentlemen? We can cancel out our c's, so we have to factor. We have to factor, 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 factor. Your favorite F word, factor. So we factor this guy, top guy in 2. c minus 3, and then c minus 1. We factor this guy into a c plus 7, and a c plus 2. Can't factor this anymore because it's just a C, but we can factor this into a C minus 3 and a C plus 3. So now what can we cancel out? Kitty corner. Well, we can cancel out this three C minus 3 with that C minus 3. How about C plus 1? Nothing. How about this C plus 2 and that C plus 2? What's left on top? Just that guy. So it's going to be C minus 1 over c plus 7 times c plus 3. And this is our simplified rational expression. Last one. Now this one looks a little bit different, ladies and gentlemen, because what are we dividing by here? We're going to divide by this b minus 4. So we're going to divide by this b minus 4. But before we do that, we have to take care of this mixed expression because there is nothing under that b, correct? So what if I write that like b over 1 plus 2 over b plus 3 like we did yesterday? So now what's my common denominator? My common denominator is going to be b plus 3. So I have to take the bottom by b plus 3. What you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So now this guy is going to turn into, I'm going to distribute that b here and there. So it is b squared plus 3b plus 2. And what's that? I'll go over because I distributed it here, here, plus 2. It all goes over b plus 3. So now the top is rewritten like this. But now what am I dividing by? I am dividing by b minus 4 over 1. So when I multiply, I take this times 1 over b minus 4. Now it looks tricky, but it's just taking it times 1. So the top's just going to stay the top. It's going to equal a b squared plus 3b plus 2. And that all goes over. Now we're just multiplying these two things together. But, ladies and gentlemen, you can just leave it in parentheses. So it's going to be b plus 3 times b minus 4 for your answer. And this is a 4 down there. So this is your simplified rational expression. Stick with your steps and you will be fine. And that does it for section 11.7, Mixed Expressions and Complex Fractions, Part 2. Good day.